Today, we're taking a trip back in time to the Great Depression era to share with you 15 frugal tips that were essential for survival during that challenging period. The amazing thing is, these tips are still relevant and can help us navigate today's world. So let's dive right in. The Great Depression, a time of resilience and resourcefulness. Before we jump into the tips, let's take a moment to understand the context of the Great Depression. It was a time of severe economic downturn in the 1930s when millions of people faced extreme financial hardship. However, it was also a time of resilience and resourcefulness, where people found ingenious ways to make ends meet and build a better future. Tip one, waste not, want not. Our first tip is a timeless mantra, waste not, want not. This phrase captures the essence of frugality and resourcefulness. During the Great Depression, every item and resource was valued and nothing was wasted. This mindset encourages us to be mindful of our consumption and appreciate the things we have. Tip two, grow your own food. Tip number two, grow your own food. In the face of food shortages and financial constraints, many families during the Great Depression turned to backyard gardens to supplement their meals. Today, you can follow in their footsteps by growing your own herbs, vegetables, and fruits, even if you only have limited space. Tip three, preserving food. Building on the previous tip, Preserving food was a vital skill during the Great Depression. Fruits and vegetables were canned, pickled, and dried to ensure they could be enjoyed throughout the year. You can learn these preservation techniques and extend the life of your produce, reducing waste and saving money. Tip four, cook from scratch. Tip number four, cook from scratch. In the era of the Great Depression, processed and convenience foods were scarce and often too expensive for many families. As a result, people cooked their meals from scratch using basic ingredients. By cooking from scratch, you have more control over the ingredients, flavors, and costs of your meals. Tip five, repair before replace. During the Great Depression, the idea of repairing items instead of replacing them was ingrained in people's mindset. Tip number five encourages us to adopt the same approach. Before discarding a broken item, try to repair it or repurpose its components. Not only will this save you money, but it also reduces waste and promotes sustainability. Tip six, reuse everything. Before we dive into the topic at hand, I have a small request to make. If you're enjoying this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could show your support by subscribing to the channel. This way, you'll be the first to know about future content and updates, and it will also help us reach a wider audience. Thank you for your consideration. Tip number six, reuse everything. In an era where resources were scarce, people had to find creative ways to reuse items. Clothes were patched and repurposed, glass jars were saved for storage, and old furniture was refurbished. Today, this tip reminds us to think twice before throwing something away and consider how it could be repurposed or given a new life. Tip seven, save scraps. During the Great Depression, nothing went to waste. Tip number seven encourages us to save scraps. Vegetable peelings can be used for homemade broth, bread crusts can be turned into breadcrumbs, and fabric scraps can be turned into breadcrumbs, and fabric scraps can be used for quilting or other crafts. By utilizing these scraps, we stretch our resources further and minimize waste. Tip eight, buy in bulk. Tip eight takes us to the power of bulk buying. During the Great Depression, people often pooled their resources and bought in bulk to get better deals and ensure their households were stocked with essentials. Today, buying in bulk can still be a cost-effective approach, especially for non-perishable items and goods with a longer shelf life. Tip nine, barter and trade. Tip number nine, barter and trade. Money was scarce during the Great Depression, so people often relied on bartering and trading goods and services. The same principle applies today. Consider swapping skills or items with friends, neighbors, or online communities. It's a great way to obtain what you need without spending money and can help foster a sense of community. Tip 10, make do or do without. During the Great Depression, the concept of making do or doing without became a way of life. If something couldn't be repaired or acquired,
people found alternatives or simply went without. This mindset encourages us to evaluate our wants versus our needs and to find satisfaction and contentment with what we have. Tip 11, homemade over store-bought. Tip number 11 emphasizes the value of homemade over store-bought. During the Great Depression, people relied on their own skills to create clothing, furniture, and household items. Today, we can tap into our creativity and learn basic DI skills to make our own products. It not only saves money, but also gives us a sense of pride and satisfaction. Tip 12, use natural resources. Tip 12, use natural resources. In an era when electricity and other utilities were scarce and costly, people made the most of natural resources. They utilized sunlight for drying clothes, collected rainwater for various purposes, and used wood or coal for heating. Today, we can embrace these practices by reducing our energy consumption and finding alternative ways to harness natural resources. Tip 13, learn basic skills. One key aspect of the Great Depression was the importance of basic skills. People learned how to mend clothes, grow food, and perform basic home repairs. Tip number 13 encourages us to develop these skills today. Learning to sew, cook, garden, and fix minor household issues not only saves money, but also empowers us to be self-reliant. Tip 14, pool resources. Tip 14, pool resources. Communities during the Great Depression often came together to share resources and help one another. By pooling resources, people could overcome individual limitations and ensure everyone had access to essentials. Today, we can apply this concept by participating in community initiatives, sharing tools and equipment, and supporting local initiatives. Tip 15, value experiences over things. Last but not least, tip number 15, value experiences over things. During the Great Depression, people couldn't afford material luxuries, but they found joy in simple experiences and quality time spent with loved ones. Today, we can prioritize experiences, creating memories, and nurturing relationships over material possessions. So there you have it, 15 frugal tips from the Great Depression that are still applicable and valuable today. These tips remind us of the resourcefulness, resilience, and community spirit that defined that era. By embracing these frugal practices, we can lead more sustainable, mindful, and financially responsible lives. 